The Internet in Greece relied on PSTN, ISDN modem dial-up from 1990 until 2003, when ADSL was commercially launched by incumbent operator OAT. ADSL2+, VDSL2 and GPON are currently the main broadband standards. Greece also has 3G and 4G plus mobile broadband HSPA and a more expensive satellite internet access. Greece has an extensive fiber optic network throughout the country. Topic <laughs> summary Top level domain GR Internet users, 6.0 million users, 52nd in the world, 56.0% of the population, 71st in the world 2012. Fixed broadband, 2.5 million subscriptions, 32nd in the world, 23.5% of the population, 40th in the world 2012. Wireless broadband, 4.8 million, 38th in the world, 44.5% of the population, 35th in the world 2012. Internet hosts, 3.2 million hosts, 32nd in the world 2012. IPv4 to 5,549,568 addresses allocated, 0.1% of the world total, 515 addresses per 1,000 people 2012. Internet service providers ISPs, approximately 23 ISPs. Two tier 1 ISPs. NCSR Demokritos was the first Hellenic Internet service provider Ariadnet. It is expected that Greece by October 2020 will be connected to Cyprus, Israel, Italy, France and Spain with quantum cable, 7,700 km ultra-high-speed fiber-optic submarine communications cable. It is expected to have 160 terabits per second, terabits per second capacity enough to handle up to 60% of the world's Internet traffic at peak time 2018. The quantum cable will be laid at same time with the 2000 MW EuroAsia interconnector. It will upgrade Greece to Telecom Hub. Topic FTTH FTTH fiber to the home is a form of fiber optic communication delivery that reaches one living or working space. The fiber extends from the central office to the subscriber's living or working space. Once at the subscriber's living or working space, the signal may be conveyed throughout the space using any means, including twisted pair, coaxial cable, wireless, power line communication, or optical fiber. The main FTTH provider are Anelan, https colon slash slash www.anelan.gr coverage in Athens and Thessaloniki, speeds from 101 hundredths of a megabit per second HCN, http colon slash slash www.hcn.gr coverage in Thessaloniki, speeds up to 1 gigabit per second from April 2018 Kilkas, Greece Vodafone Greece, http colon slash slash www.vodafone.gr coverage in Athens 2018, Thessaloniki 2019, Patras 2019, Cosmote have also run trials for FTTH for speeds up to 1 gigabit per second. Topic: <laughs> DSL. A variety of new entrants have appeared since the liberalization of the market and local loop unbundling. These operators typically offer lower prices than Note. The main DSL providers are Cosmote, Cyta Hellas, Fourthnet, Vodafone Greece after merger with Hellas Online, Wind Hellas Defunct, On Telecoms, Vivodi Telecom. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Internet speed in Greece today. The available speeds are. Up to 24 megabits per second ADSL2 plus. Up to 50 megabits per second VDSL2. Up to 120 megabits per second FTTB. Up to 250 megabits per second AWMN Athens Wireless Metropolitan Network. Up to 1 gigabit per second FTTO FTTH. Topic: <laughs> Mobile broadband access. Mobile broadband offers are available from all three national mobile phone operators Cosmote, Vodafone Greece and Wind Hellas, with up to 375 megabits per second downlink speeds. 
Mobile broadband was heavily marketed during 2008 by all three, leading to a surge in mobile internet usage, primarily with mobile professionals and young users. Downstreams are realized via HSDPA technology with speeds for Wind Hellas and Cosmote reaching up to 28.8 megabits per second and for Vodafone Greece up to 42.2 megabits per second. Upstreams of all three providers are realized via HSUPA technology, reaching up to 5.76 megabits per second. Topic. Satellite broadband Greece is covered by two satellite internet providers. Hellas Sat offers satellite service under the Hellas Sat Net brand name. OAT, as one of the owners of Hellas Sat, offers Hellas Sat Net service through its own distribution channels, website, shops, etc. The subscription packages either include a one-year commitment that is automatically renewed as unlimited time service after one year, or as a six-month limited subscription for seasonal business, as described on the Ottershop website, that is renewable on demand. The equipment is installed by Hellas SAT accredited engineers and it includes a SATNET S3020 DVB, RCS VSAT terminal, Advantec satellite modem and a 0, 96 meters antenna satellite dish with transmitter receiver. Hellas SAT net connections are also used to interconnect public administration offices and schools in remote areas mostly remote islands of the Aegean Sea to the national administration network SizeFexis and to the Internet. Two-way covers Greece with broadband satellite Internet. Since 2011 they offer a downstream speed of up to 22 megabits per second and an upstream speed of up to 6 megabits per second. They address private and business customers and have a variety of packages reaching from traffic metered packages to flat rate programs. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Internet censorship and surveillance. Greece practices some internet censorship, including the blocking of websites that offer unauthorized online gambling, the constitution provides for freedom of speech and press, and the government generally respects these rights in practice. Independent media are active and express a wide variety of views. Individuals can criticize the government publicly or privately without reprisal, and the government does not impede criticism. However, the law provides for prosecution of individuals who intentionally incite others to actions that could provoke discrimination, hatred, or violence against persons or groups of persons on the basis of their race or ethnic origin or who express ideas insulting to persons or to groups of persons because of their race or ethnic origin." In practice the government has never invoked these provisions. The law permits any prosecutor to order the seizure of publications that insult the president, offend any religion, contain obscenity, advocate for the violent overthrow of the political system, or disclose military secrets. The law provides criminal penalties for defamation, however, in most criminal defamation cases, authorities release defendants on bail pending trial and they served no time in jail. The constitution and law prohibit arbitrary interference with privacy, family, home, or correspondence. However, NGOs such as the Greek Helsinki Monitor report that authorities do not always respect these provisions in practice. On October 28, 2012, police arrested a Greek journalist, Kostas Vaxavanis, for violating personal privacy laws for publishing the Lagardi list of more than 2,000 alleged Greek tax evaders with Swiss bank accounts. On November 1, a court acquitted him, prosecutors appealed the verdict, and a retrial date was pending at the end of 2012. In the 2013 retrial, he was acquitted again. In September 2012, the cybercrime police arrested a 27 year old man, F. Loizos, charging him with malicious blasphemy and insulting religion. The man reportedly created a Facebook page under the name Elder Pastitzios that played on the name of a legendary Mount Athos monk famous for his prophecies about Greece and Orthodox Christianity, and the name of a popular Greek dish. The cybercrime police seized the man's laptop and removed the Facebook page. On January 16, 2014, he was found guilty of repeatedly insulting religion and was sentenced to 10 months in jail, suspended while the prosecutor had recommended a smaller sentence. In the 2017 retrial, however, the court acquitted Loizos. On August 6, 2009, the most visited Greek blog was shut down. 
Although Google cites potential violations of the terms of use, comments implying other reasons behind the closure of the Troptico blog were published in several leading Greek blogs. The blog went back online a few months later and suspended its activities in July 2010, after the assassination of Socrates Giolius, its administrator. On June 29, 2009, George Sanidis, the soon to be retired prosecutor of the Greek Supreme Court, Arios Pagos, declared that, Internet based communications are not covered by current privacy laws and are thus open to surveillance by the police. Such surveillance would be, according to Sanidis's mandate, completely legal. Following this proclamation, Greek bloggers, legal experts and notable personalities from the media have claimed that Sanidis's mandate contravenes both the Greek constitution and current EU laws regarding the privacy of Internet communications. Furthermore, this mandate has been greatly criticized as being a first step towards full censorship of all Internet content. See also Greek Internet Exchange GRIX, an independent, non-profit Internet Exchange point located in Athens. Greek Research and Technology Network GRNET, Greek, Ethnocodikgeo Erunas Kai Technologias Ede the National Research and Education Network of Greece. Hellenic Telecommunications Organization SA, Greek, Organismos Telepikoinonian Elados Alpha, Epsilon. Known by its Greek initials OAT, is the dominant telecommunications provider in Greece.